Right, first uh, hurdle. Here is the magneto. There's no spark. Um, so we've pulled the rotor out. This wire that's soldered on there was actually broken off. So I'm guessing that's why we have no spark. Uh, there's two coils in here. One is uh, 2.7 ohms and the other one is 10.6 K ohms and they both seem to be okay now. A little set of points here. Um, all cleaned, put back together, ready to go. It actually works this um, set of points, shorts the coil out and then when the points crack open, bang, we get a spark. We're supposed to. The other problem we have, the old horseshoe magnet here made out of a big lump of steel is very weak. So um, that may be getting some addition of um, some Neos. See if we can't crank that up a bit. Spark plug, we're missing the top out of it. It's actually a screw in top. We'll find something to screw in there. The rest of it doesn't look too bad. That is actually supposed to be offset like that, not sit over the top. The old plugs were like this. It's not bent, that is how it's supposed to be. So now it's just a matter of putting it all back together and see if we get some spark. Failing that, we're going to go straight to plan B, which we were going to do later on. And we're going to turn this Jacob's ladder, Jacob kit, into um, an ignition system. Which should be pretty good for the uh, water side of things. But anyway, we'll put it back together first. Um, because we want to test this motor and see what we can get out of it before we start doing any modifications so we'll keep it um, original there's something else I noticed with the exhaust timing on it that I'm not really happy about and we'll go and have a look at that right now okay well the first thing that's gonna go is this tree choco full of bees I'm allergic to bees last one near killed me and um, it's like snowing yellow balls going in the motor anyway right the exhaust valve um, the inlet valve of course is a lazy valve um, which means it's only vacuum that operates it the exhaust valve however is operated off of this cam here the timing is correct this is actually how they are which you'll see here I'll just wind it over okay so now we're going up to our compression stroke We're actually going the wrong way. It actually spins backwards this motor. So that would be on a compression stroke. It fires and before the cylinder gets to the bottom dead center, or the stroke should I say, the piston gets to bottom dead center, our exhaust valve starts opening. Now we would want the exhaust valve to start opening when it is at the bottom dead center. However, it starts to open probably about 75 degrees of the stroke. So we will be losing a little bit there. So um, after our initial testing, we're going to start modifying some camshafts and get that to uh, start opening once we are at the bottom dead center instead of about 75 degrees. So uh, that'll give us a little better result, I would think. And no, the timing is absolutely correct. The two dots line up. But there is a very big overlap on our power stroke and exhaust. If it does shut at the correct time, it just opens way too soon for my liking. So um, that there is going to get the big modify. And it's just going to be a bit trick because some clown, rather than fix it properly, has just decided to weld the uh, carrier shaft for our um, valve gear straight onto the block. So we're going to be ripping that apart, grinding it all down and uh, make up a new carrier for it. So we can um, remove this when we need to remove it, which at the moment we cannot remove it because it's all been welded on. And not very good welding at all by the look of that. Farmer's snot job, that's what that will be. But anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. And our exhaust valve starts opening. Yeah. 
probably about uh, 70 to 75 degrees through the power stroke which is not very good I don't think anyway something we're going to look at see how much improvement we can make to the motor um, rather than destroy the original I might just make a new plate and um, keep all the original bits as they are as we ever want to go back to original Right, but uh, I'm going to go and put that uh, magneto back together see if we can get some spark now. Well, it would seem we've been successful. We definitely have a nice spark there now. I'm just going to chuck some neos on the side now and see if we can make it any better. It's a bit orange, but we've got a fairly big gap there. But uh, nonetheless, it is now working, which is a good sign. So um, I'm just going to put some neos on here come back and let's see what happens. Right, I just put a couple of um, N52 squares um, on there, a couple of old Neos and of course um, it was north to north so we increase the north field and south on the south so we do the same it's definitely um, improved it, we've got a nice blue spark now definitely some power there so um, watch us leave them on there. I mean they're going to stick, they're stuck on a bit of steel of course and, and uh, made the whole shebang work quite quite a bit better than what it did so uh, we'll leave them on there, we're going to bolt this back on now and uh, see how we go. So just a little update video on our old, um, so it's not, actually not a snap magneto it's um, just a rotating coil in a magnetic field with um, shorting points so yeah it just shorts the uh, coil out and um, once those points open bang away she goes anyway um, I'll see you in the next video see how we're going with the um, starting of the motor